What is the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. We're finally back. So apologies for the delay lads. It's been a crazy couple of game or a crazy couple of days for me. Um I've been sick for the last two or three days, absolutely dying. I think I got food poisoning. I don't know what it was, but oh man, I was absolutely I was just I I was I was down bad, lads. I was down bad. We can get some games in, we can start back. This is gonna be just kind of like uh kind of like a pre-season uh type one for dream team season two uh for dream team chronicle season two i should say so um yeah i hope you guys are good anyway and i and appreciate anyone that's reached out and just was saying you know where the videos and stuff like that i do have a load of videos to upload so i have been grinding um away and just trying to do different things and having different ideas so i've got a lot of cool content coming over the next like probably like the next week and then on to like the next three months where there's a lot of cool stuff coming um and obviously look we're going to try and make the best of v1.1 i mean i'm really looking forward to seeing what they improve tomorrow um with v1.1 or whatever they're calling it 1.11 or whatever they're calling it um because i do think that the gameplay has kind of like regressed a little bit overall i think there's some positive parts about it like i think the defensive responsiveness and all that is much improved but then the defensive ai is a little bit more moronic i think um and that's this you know that's like gotten worse um i think that the like you know i haven't played enough online but the couple of games that i played online didn't feel as fluid as v1.0 but then offline feels really nice that you can actually dribble now you know i really feel in control of my dribbling so i'm going to be interested to see how it plays today but reading all your comments lads i mean you don't seem too happy with v1.1 so it is going to be interesting to uh to to see that today but i kind of wanted to obviously for dream team chronicle season two I wanted to have like a new squad where like every decision was made was kind of like by you guys and I have a couple of cool and unique ways of like you know integrating that into like a YouTube series because like I know when you're streaming and stuff it's like you know it's direct I ask a question and it's answered you know 10 seconds later or whatever um which is cool but I think with YouTube you know it's more about kind of like the journey week to week um, is what I want to do or obviously maybe three episodes a week where you're kind of getting to build a team and you can watch in your own time and stuff um, if you can't make a live stream or whatever so that's kind of what I wanted to do with Dream Team Chronicle season two was to have kind of like this interactive type thing and I have a load of cool ideas that I think you guys might like so um, we're going to crack on with that but um, obviously look with um, with Dream Team season two obviously we've got it up here they are going to be adding the premium club packs right so uh that's going to be coming tomorrow now i had planned on having season two already begun by now with like half my squad built or whatever um but they are going to be adding the premium club packs tomorrow with with the objective so we are going to wait and see what actually comes tomorrow with the objectives and what actually comes with these is it just going to be the club packs um which look quite decent to be honest i mean the car designs are really nice um and look lads whatever your thoughts on cards or packs or microtransactions or anything like that i mean at the end of the day there's some people that are enjoying e-football and there's some people that aren't and it kind of goes back to everything that i say on the podcast i mean if it's not for you it's not for you you know it's the same way as as i said it and i've often said it on the podcast i mean if the missus is watching love island i mean i don't have to sit there and criticize it every five seconds i don't have to endure it i don't have to sit down and make it a miserable experience for her i can just literally go and do something else and i know that we're a lot more passionate about pez and about e-football that it's easier you know that's easier said than done and i know the guys that are criticizing it the most are as passionate as the guys that are praising it the most and you need constructive criticism but at the end of the day um i mean dream team is a massive success for them so they are going to give you know the people what they want if people are supporting these premium club packs which i think they will then they're going to give more if people are supporting the legends and buying legends they're going to give more so you know that's just that's just you know how it is i mean obviously it doesn't dispute that the that the gameplay needs to match it and you know if the gameplay isn't on par it needs to match it but look that's going into a, a completely different rant you know we had a podcast on that where you can we've we talked about that in the last episode of the podcast check that out but obviously with the the club packs coming and the ambassador packs right um this kind of changed my mind on what we're going to do in terms of the in terms of like season two of dream team because obviously they're going to add in a load of these to the to the ecosystem so um we're going to switch back over here because 
Obviously, I wanted season two to be driven by you guys, interactive, driven by you guys, where you pick what players I, you know, have, what jersey numbers. Obviously, Corona is going to be in there, um, unless there's a mutiny from you guys that you don't want them in. But I'll probably have to back Corona in that case. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's just kind of, you know, a different kind of like I want to have a different squad going forward where. You know we have our own stamp on it we can test out things it's not so much about getting to division one we've already done that in season one with v1.0 uh so this is more about kind of like building a squad testing players reviewing players and stuff like that but um because of that right why i'm saying it is i did plan on getting like you know buying all the players and stuff or going into the, to the players and i do have a lot of gp and coins already but um we actually got sent a box from Konami. So a couple of guys got sent these uh, to content or whatever. So you can see there. Um, and we're just going to open this up here now. Um, and it does have an actual code inside it. Uh, and it does have a jersey. So a t-shirt. Sorry for the noise, lads. So as you can see there, it's just the eFootball uh, uh, t-shirt. The black, green and kind of pink. It's actually quite nice to be fair. And we also got a code uh, which is on this, which is a code for coins. I don't know how much it is. Obviously, the coins are on the back of that, but I won't show it because one of you guys uh, might, take the might, might take the code. But uh, uh, yeah, so we got a code for coins as well. So we are probably going to open up a couple of, the, a couple of the, the agents and whatever and see how it goes with that. If that's what you guys would want me to do. If you want me, guys, if you want me uh depending on how much the coins are if you prefer to do a giveaway on the youtube i can do that as well because i do have coins there um if you guys want me to give away that th those coins i can check how much they are and stuff i'm more than happy to do that as well lads if you if you um if you would prefer me to do the giveaway it has a giveaway instead of opening all the, the ambassador packs and that so let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to do right so i'm gonna have to switch controller now two seconds all right, lads, so I am back. Just had to switch pad. I mean, the pad, the PS5 pad, the PS5 pads, man, are desperate, right? I think they're desperate. So, right, just to bring everything up to speed, right? This is going to be like a pre-season to Dream Team Season 2, Dream Team Chronicle Season 2. This is the team that got me up to Division 1, right? We've already had kind of like a mini reboot of the series uh, for Season 2, but this is the squad that we have at the moment. Now, my idea was to go in... Um, and buy somebody, you know, the one one player that I was looking at was uh, was Sun. So Sun is a player that I obviously wanted to buy. There's a couple of guys there that I want to test out, but Sun is absolutely incredible, lads. I mean, he's he can play as a striker. He can play left wing, right wing. He'd be perfect. Now his rating is C form at the moment, but that uh, that is obviously going to be something we need to keep an eye on. But this guy's stats actually, he's the most like he's the best player. Uh, when you compare him to Romario that you can actually get, right? So, okay, right? So here's Son over on eFootballDB.com, right? Look at his stats, right? So he's got 84 speed and 82 acceleration. We max him out, right? And we give him, what is he? Uh, out wide 68, right? So we'll give him three on out wide, okay? To bring him up to 98. That leaves us with 20, or that leaves us with 41 points, right? Now we missed out on getting this version of Son, Obviously, which is superior in mostly every way, but he only has he only has seven uh, rankings to go. So you you actually can make this guy even better, right? So if we give Son, if we're going to use him as a backup to Romario, right? If we're going to use him as a Romario backup or our main striker going forward, um, we do want to have like good shooting, but we don't need to have amazing shooting. Obviously, 84 should be enough. His passing needs to be about 70, but then the rest is just going to go into pure speed and... Uh, and pace that's that's basically what it's going to be right so if we put him at here put the dribbling up at that i think dribbling is is worthy to go up there and then his lower body body strength to go to 90 there i mean that's kind of what we'd be rocking with a 93 rated son that we could buy for 300 000. now i do have about 1.3 million so he wouldn't even you know like i'd still be uh it'd still be you know well able to afford any other player that you guys wanted to buy but that is one uh, guy that people have been asking me to review and people have been asking me to share my thoughts on uh with son and you know do kind of like a real life player review so i said well why not you know why not just get him um and train him up max like you know as best as we can but as i said i am going to hold off 
because obviously the players that they're going to be adding, you know, we might have Ansu Fati or we might have somebody like that that we actually decide to get. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to leave everything and I'm going to do the events, right? So there's a couple of events that I still have left to do. Um, and we're just going to have, again, we're just going to have a bit of a chat. All right, lads, so we are in here and hopefully everything works good. I'm going to change my strip. I will obviously be changing all the, the kits and like the team design and all that um we have we're gonna have a new new look for the the new season ahead but we have joined up against this guy and he looks to have a really decent team lads that he's kind of trained up and to be honest with you this could be a good game um he's got pedri and Paye in midfield alvarez rodrigo and ansu fati he's got a very decent team here um to be fair so let's see what my team is looking like and we can then decide what formation that we're going to go with this guy's ready he's mad for road is Corona up for the action? Maradona is up for the action. We're going to actually bring in Maradona, lads, because we haven't really seen him play um, that well. I'm going to put Ronaldinho maybe on the left wing, or right wing, sorry. He should be all right. Mm. Maybe I can put Maradona there. Maradona can't really play there, though. Do you know what, lads? We're going to actually change formation slightly. We're going to put... Um, we're going to do this. I'm going to just make a little bit of a change and uh, get Maradona in. Although I could put Diaz in as well, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, I just want to test things out and uh, test out how I'm going to play. Put Ronaldinho. I'll put Ronaldinho just in the middle, to be fair. I'll put Maradona here. You know, lag free, input delay free. Feels okay so far. Is this guy going to... He's going to try it. Van Dijk. Lovely. Oh, a little bit of... A little bit of delay there. All right, we'll take it. Maradona in your bike now. Is this guy going to rush in or is he going to stand off me? Maybe a, mi a, a mix of both. Vieira. Oh, feels good to be back, baby. Oh, ref. I thought that would be a free, lads. The ref is back at it now again. He better not li be like that for season two. It's good. He's playing the wings. Oh, man, it feels so long since I actually played this proper standard. Lovely Ronaldinho, that's what you're there for. Wanna go long range, driven shot, touch and go. Maradona's on your bike. Good defending from him. Pedri again. He's playing attacking as well. I like this guy, lads. I like this match. Oh Maradona. Lovely Maldini. Gap in the middle, Vieira. Bombing forward! Oh, what a save. Penalty though. Lads, Vieira is on fire there. I don't have anchoring on Vieira actually either. I changed that just to give him a few bomb forward runs just to have a bit of crack. Oh shit, that could go anywhere, lads. That could go anywhere. I knew it. I knew the minute I pressed that it slipped off my thumb. Oh, that was a desperate penalty, lads. Desperate penalty. Lovely. 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 Oh no, Romario. I was in there with Maradona as well. That's terrible from Romario. Lads, I found a lot of people have been saying to me that the AI has, has gotten worse since uh, since V1.1. And, like, obviously, like, it's hard to tell with just one instance there. But, like, I've noticed... Oh, man, I hate that little speed-up thing. I guarantee you this guy is playing on Wi-Fi. Because that's when it happens. As far as I know, anyway. Let me know if I'm wrong. Good tackle. Ah, uh, keep running, Ronaldinho. See, it's very hard when you put something under a microscope now, you know? Like, maybe that was happening in V1.1, but the fact that, like, it's kind of more... Um, there's more attention drawn to it. Like, you kind of look for it more, if that makes sense. Oh, man, the interceptions definitely have been upped. Oh, all right, Ronaldinho. You don't want the ball at all, do you know? Oh, my God, Ronaldinho twice. It's a goal. Oh, good save, Donna. Yeah, it just feels a little clunkier, lads. I kind of, I don't know. I mean, Ronaldinho, the ball literally just goes past him there. Uh, we might analyze that at the end and just see. But there are things that you can't really, uh, you can't really control, which I don't like. You know, you should always be able to control. Oh, Romario. Oh, my days, man. Day. Where are my players moving like? Oh my god, lads. How many times has Ronaldinho let that ball through his legs? Oh my god, this is a disaster. 
This is actually desperate. I don't know if it's just the connection lads or what, but what is going on with Ronaldinho, seriously? I'm going to have to take you off. Man, my players are just behind every single time. Oh my days. Finally he scores. And what is with the ball just teleporting through the players? I didn't notice that in V1.0, but again, I haven't, I haven't played enough of it. Let me see the replay now. I'll let you play it, because I want to see this. The ball just... Oh, my days. Okay, he out, at least he outstretched for it. Let's see if kickoff still works. Man, Paye is like... Oh, I didn't want that. Hakimi looks solid. Must have got a boost in the update. Man, my players just seem out of, like, completely out of position. Nah. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. This guy's definitely playing on Wi-Fi anyway. I can tell. There will be one minute at a time. What? Oh, what? Wow, it would have been some goal. Maradona taking on the inside flank. Yay, Maradona. That still works. That was a fairly easy goal, but to be honest, lads, I deserved it. Like, this guy, I just can't defend him. I literally can't stop him. Oh my god, Donna, what are you at? Like, did you just see that, lads? Touch and go, touch and go. Is he man marking? We'll see now in a second if he is. Oh, good save. Good save from, from Oliver Can, lads. Can is unreal, isn't he? Like, uh, Man, what is going on? What is going on with this game? Oh my days. Yeah, that's catching him every time. I'm just literally not getting rewarded for it. Lovely Van Dyke. Oh my days, man. No, see, why isn't that a free? That's literally what I did with Van Dyke. Go on, give a free there. I'm surprised. Oh my god, I pressed the button and it didn't do anything. Watch the overlap. Ah, that's good defending. Didn't know much about it though. Yeah, we know where you're going, buddy. Oh man, how did that get through? <laughs> Lads. Like, I don't even know how to explain that one. I honestly don't know how to explain it. Did I deserve this win? Probably. I hit the crossbar. I missed the penalty. I missed that chance with Maradona. I don't know. Mario's the man again. He's the best player in the game by a country mile, lads. By a country mile. He just wins you games. He's always in the right place at the right time. I don't know how that ball got through there. Did everything right. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take it. That was a crazy game, man. That was a crazy game. Look at my goals. 45 plus 3 and 90 plus 2. Crazy. I want to say I want to look at his goal, lads. I genuinely I want to I want to check out his goal. All right, forget about the penalty there. I just slipped my 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 finger slipped off that one. What's this one? 
I want to see his goal. Man, that one there with Ronaldinho. Like, what was that from Ronaldinho? My days. But yeah, I just want to talk about that match, man. That was a weird one. That was a weird game. And it seems to be that, like, there's, there's a lot more interceptions. There's a lot more bobbles around the box. Um, like, players sticking out their legs and stuff. But, like, the thing I love about offline, man, is, like, how fluid it is. You know what I mean? When you do it... No, that was terrible for me. That was shocking. Havertz is a big unit, lads. Look at the size of him. What height is he? You're not as big as Paddy V. But I just love how fluid it is, man. I know you've got a lot of stuff to, to cater for. Um, you know, you've got pay, latency, ping, where the server is based, like where the match is being hosted, all this sort of stuff. But yeah, when you get a game like that, it's very frustrating. Even when you win a match, it's very frustrating. And I know that they've made a couple of changes to the out wide formation. So I want to test a couple of things. I want to test the pace of the game, the input of when I'm passing and pressing, shooting stuff from first time stuff, and also my players' positioning. We are playing uh, Argentina. Oh man, look at that! Like there's, there's no comparison there. Like with the movement of Romario. This is on legend difficulty as well, but you usually just have to go gung ho against the legend difficulty. They don't like it when you rough them up. If you let them play a ball, they'll destroy you. No, three man press. Oh, Paddy V, you kill me. Come on. Yeah, it just seems so slicker, man. Havertz, need a good ball now. Hang it in the right area. Or that. That was shameful from Hazard. Or from Havertz. Oh, and caught. No, he's off, he's off, he's off. Oh, he's not though. Messi. Oh, I'll save. Lloris. That was nice from Lloris, lads. Press, 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 press. That's brilliant. See, I love that you can do that. Big fan of that. Oh, what a goal. Look at that. It's, of course, that man again. Corona. He does things that no other human can do on the pitch, lads. He's an absolute demon. What a beast. No right to score that, but he did. Embarrasses the Argentines. Or the Argentinians. Nice whippy in as well. Oh, it's absolutely peach. And that's why Corona's going to be leading the line, lads. He's captain for season two of Dream Team Chronicles. No matter what you say. Pedri's zipping around the pitch there like a lunatic. That's nice. Tuck in, tuck in, tuck in. That'll do. That's Larissa seen it all day. But lads, how are you finding the difference between V1.1? I know I asked you this the last time, but now that I'm kind of back in the swing of things, like what are you what are you noticing? Like I'm reading all your comments that you're sending in the in the videos and stuff. Um are you kind of like is everyone noticing the same? kind of things because obviously you know we play a lot of the game obviously that's a lot of obviously Havertz seal the deal here yeah that's my own fault at least it's shot that was online I'd be still waiting Ah, oh, Corona again Okay, that was my own fault. That was a bad pass. And I like that the defense should get that. Just the middle now. There will be one minute at a time. See the burst pass there, right? Now that's that's the thing I think is missing online in one key clip, right? That little burst pass there of, yeah, I'll try and go into replay here. I'll try and go into replay, right? Watch here, right? So when I get the ball here with Romario, right? I take a touch and then I burst pass by switching direction. And in that, if online, like at the moment, it feels like you can't do things like that. That's just my personal opinion. Like there's obviously other parts of online that are stronger than that, but it's that burst pass there into the stride. And that's the, like, you know, the moment that makes it a goal scoring chance or just a, like a half chance.
like I do like the challenge that Legend gives you that they like usually I know this game is a bad example but usually they do punish you um, if you give them half a chance but it's all about kind of like stopping the passing lanes and stuff but it's a different experience than playing somebody online especially somebody sweaty you know because they'll they'll play a different type of type of game but yeah I don't know man it just seems really like congested and, and stuff I don't know it's, it's hard to put my finger on what's kind of changed lovely Good job, I'm two, one, two nil up. Oh, that was a bad pass for me. Good defending though. Tried to do a stunning shot there. Oh, I want the... I want the clean sheet. I want the clean sheet, lads. Lovely. We get it. Five matches completed. Clean sheet? Yeah. That's what we're playing for now. That objective. 200 GP, lads. Corona again. Did he score two? Thought he did. Man of the match as usual. Did he score two, lads? Corona. Thought he did. Could be wrong. But anyway, lads, yeah, right. We're going to be back. I'm going to have an episode up on the, the channel later that you guys might enjoy. Hopefully, it's a bit of crack. And then we're going to be back with a couple of new series as well that we have been working on. So... Um, let me know your thoughts, lads. I mean, I'm still, after playing another couple of games there, I still can't put my finger on what I'm trying to, like, explain is off for me with V1.1. Um, I don't know, but let me know. Like, let me know what you guys think. But, yeah, we're going to play on, and uh, hopefully tomorrow's update will have a lot of changes and a lot of tweaks, and um, we can get back to Beaston in Dream Team Chronicles. We will be starting regardless, because I'm, I do miss playing Divisions. But uh, yeah, let me know that's what you guys are thinking. Let me know as well about the coins, code and stuff like that. If you want me to just do a big, huge opening tomorrow, um, let me know on Twitter, let me know on YouTube. Or if you want to do a giveaway, uh, let me know what you guys would prefer. And uh, yeah, that is it for me. I will be back quite soon. Until next time.